Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about Blender for SketchUp users. I'm getting lots and lots of messages from people trying to migrate or asking how to migrate from SketchUp to Blender. They find Blender really, really different from SketchUp and indeed it is uh, quite different from SketchUp. So I decided to create a few short tutorials uh, explaining the differences from SketchUp to Blender and I will be doing, uh, creating some models, some 3D objects in SketchUp, and I will try to do the exact same thing in Blender. I will, uh, I will uh, restrain myself, or I will try not to use plugins or additional tool resources in SketchUp, and I will do the same in Blender, trying to avoid using add-ons uh, to uh, try to make it as uh, core as possible between the two tools so let's get started with sketchup in case you are not aware or if if you don't know anything about sketchup uh, regarding uh, dimensions and lengths you will be able to see them uh, here on the lower right corner of my screen in this field so if you are new or you don't have any experience with sketchup keep an eye there on that corner that's where you will see the, the dimensions for all of the models so my objective uh, my goal here is to create something like a wall i'll be using this tool here the shapes and we can create this wall with a seven by a uh, half a meter so i will type seven comma 0 0.5 enter and this will be the base for our wall and now instead of using an extrude if you are uh, already a blender user i'll be using this tool here called push pull which is one of the most popular options to create 3d models in a sketchup let's create here something like this with a height of uh, 2.5 so i will press tab look there at the lower right corner 2.5 enter this will be the dimension so how can we make sure that we are using the exact same dimensions if you want we have something here uh, from uh, the tools you have this option here to add dimensions or you can uh, use this tape measure let's add dimensions i will press these two points click here here 0 0.5 and i can add one here and here so this is the object quite simple right so let's move to blender and try to do this exact same thing there uh, using uh, a, a workflow that will suit blender for beginners here we are in blender this is the default scene as you can see i'm using the latest version of blender blender 4.3 that little b on the side it's because it's the beta version now uh regarding 3d navigation we'll find that blender uses uh, almost the same tools resources from sketchup so using the middle mouse button you can use uh, shift the middle mouse button to move your screen and use your scroll to zoom in and out first thing i'll be doing is i will be removing this light this light source here and the camera will be, we won't be rendering anything so you can either click or draw a box around it and type the delete key to remove it from your scene now uh, as you can see here in blender we don't have those drawing tools how do we create something like that a plane that we created in SketchUp to start an extrude. Let me remove this cube here. It's an option to start with this cube, but let's try to follow a similar path, a similar workflow that we used there in uh, SketchUp. Removing the cube, you can click on it and hit the delete key. Now, uh, Blender uses a, a, a different workflow to create objects. Instead of drawing things, you have to add a primitive shape. And to create object here in Blender, you can use Shift A and go to the mesh. We'll be using mesh objects and add a plane. And as you can notice here, it will create a plane. 
Every time you create a plane in Blender, it will start with a two by two meters. In case you are using the metric system, it will start with a fixed size. You can change that using the 3D viewport, this window, this editor that we have here. The sidebar, if you press the N key and go to the item, you will see that we have the dimensions here. If you don't remember, uh, there in SketchUp, I'm, uh, I was using seven meters. So we have the dimensions here. I will be using seven, 0 0.5, and nothing for a Z. As you can notice here, we are using a scale factor. This is great in case you are using animations, for instance, but for a modeling or for architectural modeling, if you are using, a, uh, if you are creating a design, this is not really that great because it can uh, give you some trouble later on the development of a 3D object. So I'll be resetting this scale factor by pressing Ctrl A. This is something that you don't really have to do in SketchUp. Choose scale after pressing Ctrl A. And as you can see, it will reset your scale factor. Now, how can we add or create something like a push pull with a 2.5 meters in uh, as uh, the height? We have to enter edit mode, select the object, go to edit mode. Make sure you have all of your objects here selected. If you want to use something that is close to SketchUp, you can change your selection mode here to face and edges. This is somehow close to what we have in SketchUp. So you can either select an edge or an entire face, depending on your needs. Now, to create the height of the wall, you will be pressing the E key to start an extrude. If you type 2.5, this is what we get. A wall with 2.5 meters as height. Another way to do this is using the, uh, this icon here. It's the extrude region. You can either use the normal or you can change here on the, low, on the top left. X, Y, Z, so you'll be able to control your, the direction of your extrude using an axis. So I'll be using the Z axis. And you can use this small button or this small menu here to change the height of your extrude. 2.5. And how can we add those uh, dimension lines? We have this measure tool here in Blender. It will create something that is quite similar to what we uh, get there in SketchUp. If you press and hold the control key, it will snap. It will look for endpoints here like vert uh, vertices. I can draw another line here, seven meters, 2.5, and I will draw another dimensional line here at the bottom. So this is 2.5, 0 0.5, and 7 meters. And here we have it, a simple tutorial explaining how to get started with a 3D modeling in a Blender based on uh, a workflow that you do in SketchUp. I know it was fast, it was uh, quite simple uh, to be honest, but it's a start, and my goal here is to explain the workflow that you uh, do in uh, SketchUp and try to move it to Blender. A uh, quick note, there are many different ways to create this exact same object with those dimensions in Blender. I try to create something that looks like or uh, follows a similar path to what you get in SketchUp. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future, uh, new, uh, any future tutorials from this uh, series. And if you want to learn about how to uh, use Blender using precise modeling tools and workflows, don't forget to check my latest workshop, Blender 4.2, Precise Modeling for Architecture, Engineering, and 3D Printing. Links in the description. See you next time. Bye.